Hey everybody, welcome back. Doing a really quick video today, but I think it's a very useful one. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about plug cutters. I'm working on a built-in unit that has a very large upper carcass that's going to have a very long shelf. Now, normally what I would recommend, and I did recommend to the client, was that the shelves be housed in the face frame so that they can be supported by the face frame since they are you know, pretty long. These shelves are 55 and 1 8 long, and that makes up the dimensions of the, you know, the inside to make the outside the size that I need to fit behind the face frame. Okay, so this also has to hold the TV, and that's why the whole thing is that size. But aside from that, uh, I solid edge band it and I put that groove like I did in the other video where I made the curio and those shelves were kind of long so I edge banded with the solid wood. Since these are longer, what I did was not only edge band it with that rabbit underneath for the support, that lip to strengthen it and give it the rigidness, but I also put screws in about every six to eight inches. But I need to plug these holes. This is gonna be a painted project. So the way I'm gonna do that and what we're talking about doing today, and I'll show you how to do it, is making these plugs, these tapered plugs that will fit in those holes. You hammer them in, glue them in, and then flush trim them off. And then if you need to put any filler, which you virtually won't you know, have to put anything, uh, once it's primed and painted, you will never see those holes. But you can't just put filler in there and expect it to not you know, shrink a little bit with the paint and uh, the different temperatures and see that little bit of an indentation. So we're gonna fill that with some wood. Now, here is a plug cutter. They come in all different sizes. They come in different shapes too. This cuts a, a regular plug. Uh, this cuts a tapered plug. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using the tapered plugs today and we're gonna head over to the drill press. I'm gonna show you how to use it. So once you have the plug cutter in your drill press, you wanna set your depth to make sure you're getting right to the ridge of that cutter because that's where it's gonna cut the taper and go deep enough to let you have a plug the size that you need. So take a scrap piece of the same material that you're working with and after you set that depth, you're gonna to start to drill out those plugs. So I'm just gonna throw on my hearing protection. I have my safety glasses on. Okay, so now that we have the plugs cut at the drill press, we're back over at the workpiece here. The way you're gonna free these, there's two ways you can do it. You can run this through the bandsaw and you'll cut them loose, but it's just as easy to take a flathead screwdriver and just pry them loose like that. All right, I'm gonna put these down before I lose them. And then what you wanna do is, you wanna take the plug, And I like to take the end at the top where it's most tapered. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab some glue. So let's start with these two right here. So let's take some glue and just put your glue right in the hole there. Don't put too much because you're gonna have a lot of squeeze out. So just get enough on the edges so that the plug has something, some surface to glue onto. Take the direction of the grain and just line it up on the hole there and just force it in a little bit and then tap it in. And you'll see because of that taper on the plug, that's what allows you to get it into that hole there. All right, let's do the same thing here. And take our brain, line that up, tap it in. And you could do this with a, uh, a regular hammer as well. And then you just go down the line and take your flush trim saw. And take a piece of sandpaper. And you can see how that filled the hole. And the glue and the sawdust combined will make its own wood filler. So now the cool thing about this is if you're working on a stained project and you're looking to use some light and some dark woods for a little contrast, you can 
say if you were using some pine and you had a piece of walnut and some uh, some red oak and you can make the plugs uh, a darker color than the actual workpiece and then you have a little contrast and it looks very professional. Just take a sanding block and some sandpaper. And here you can see it's virtually invisible. And once I prime and paint this, you will never know that there were screws embedded in those oversized countersunk holes. Okay guys, well that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys like it. So if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that picture of a notification bell. That'll notify you every time I upload a video, which is usually on a bi-weekly basis, sometimes on a weekly basis. So I hope you guys got something out of this today. Uh, we made some tapered plugs on the drill press and really cool way to fill the holes in a project where you need to you know, put screws in a countersunk hole and you're gonna paint it or stain it. This is a great way to fill it without just, you know, throwing as much joint compound or wood filler that you can in there and then having it shrink and crack later on and be visible. You don't want that. This is a good way to do it. All right, guys. So plug cutters, check them out. There's all different manufacturers, all different websites where you can get those. They're not really expensive and uh, they come in a set. So get the best sets you can get so that you can make the best plugs you can make for your project. All right, guys, so hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Facebook where this project, which is too big for me to film the whole thing, you can see the step-by-step -step as I install and parts of the build as I go along. All right, guys, so stick around. There's gonna be a lot more instructional videos, a lot more tool techniques and things like that, stuff that I use that could benefit you. And as always, thanks for watching.